Our fantasy football league may be over, but football season is still on. Dina Mitchell's back with an update from the Gridiron. Dina, what have you been up to since Touchdown for Charities kind of wrapped up? Uh, kind of wrapped up. <laughs> Dang it. I already <laughs> miss fantasy football, Aww. and I'm, I'm soon going to miss football. But I missed it so much that I decided to fly out to New Jersey to go to a football game. Nice. I actually went to the Giants-Eagles, and um, even though there's no playoff contention or was none. Uh, there was a lot more going, going on with the game. We had coaching changes. Um, Odell Beckham just came off his suspension. Right. And, a, and a big rivalry leading back to 1933 between the two teams when they first played. And the Giants really just, <laughs> they won 56 to nothing. Ow, wow. uh, I was going to say they kicked some butt, but yeah. they did. They definitely yeah. kicked some butt. But since then, I mean, it's just been going back and forth. And so it was really interesting to be you know, on the field and, and to be at that game and then sitting out with the crowd because the fans, I mean, they'll heckle each other, but they were smiling and laughing yeah. through the whole thing. So really good natured fans. And, um, you know, it's it was awesome. It was awesome being there at the game. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. How was the tailgating getting into the game? Yes. Right? Uh, <laughs> that's my favorite. That's exciting. <laughs> I sent you some pictures. I wanted to stop. I was saying oh. hi to everyone and I was like oh, smelling the food. The These people do it. It's serious. Yeah, yeah, it really they, is. The not only lot. that, not only before, that but they had TV set up mm -hmm. in the back yes. of their car and they're watching the whole thing and they've got a great view but yet they're still got the vibe and the energy from the oh, game yeah. so right. I don't know I think they're doing it right and wow. the free drinks and libations is what I'm excited about <laughs> mostly at the tailgates they're so nice they just yeah. offer to you I think yeah. they're a little drunk right. yeah. but they okay. still just offer you food and awesomeness and then you get inside and yeah I have yet to tailgate I really oh. yeah I have oh, yet to tailgate I have to oh, I almost didn't catch the game yeah right yeah but I did right we had <laughs> tickets but no. yeah so we actually have a local who plays for the Eagles we do DeMarco Murray oh, that's and cool. um, you know the Eagles their, their coach was fired just the week before uh -huh. yeah. so there was a lot going on around that and I have to say DeMarco played one of his best games his best game of the season was actually played the last time uh, the Giants and the Eagles uh, uh, met up mm -hmm. so he played one of his best games he got a touchdown Fantastic. I think he got like I don't know, maybe 60 yards or so but he did really well and I have to say the energy with the Eagles uh -huh. um, you know kind of running without a coach I think they did really really well and they wow. had a, a, a good energy really yeah. good energy. the girls have him on the fantasy football team? I had him you had him well I think he was traded on and off mm -hmm. he didn't have mm -hmm. his best season um, okay. all together mm -hmm. and, and I there's many speculation or many reasons why not. <laughs> right. um, but then, you know, we found out afterwards that the Giants, um, their coach stepped down, and he happens to be one of the most loved coaches in the and NFL. There were tears. Wow. People were breaking out into tears. Yeah, and all the players stepping up for him. I mean, you know, he here's somebody who can easily step into running for president. I mean, this is such a great and guy. Why did he leave? Why? Uh, he stepped down from uh, the Giants, Just coaching the Giants. Time mm -hmm. to retire. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So that enough. Well, Obviously, I'm going to ask this question because it's there on the prompter and we're supposed to, <laughs> but it's, it's pretty obvious. What is, how do you compare watching it at, in person as compared to watching on TV? Oh, uh, good question. You know, I love watching it. I'm so used to watching it at home, especially Sunday mornings where I've got, you know, direct TV and I've got the eight games split and I just sit there and like, <laughs> wow. I, I do. You love it. It's totally true. I'm obsessed. It's true. I, I, yeah, I'm obsessed. So, you know, you're in every single action. If I, if I miss a play, then I'll rewind. I just want to watch the whole thing. Wow. But being at the game you miss a lot of it you kind of have to let go of being able to catch every single thing right but the energy you just can't replace I mean everybody at home usually it's me going what what just no yelling at my TV by myself and my neighbors <laughs> just think I'm wacko um, maybe others too I'm not sure about that but at the game everybody is in it and especially the last few minutes the Giants I think there's five points left and they don't want to lose and here's another thing this was also called what some said the lose Loser Bowl because the loser of that game goes to London next year to play the Rams. Okay. Oh. So there's a lot more going around this game. So there's like a five point difference, the last few minutes, and uh, Eli's like trying to you know connect with um, OBJ, Odell Beckham. And you see the whole crowd, and they're all like, yeah, and they're standing up with hope, yelling, and then, oh, everybody all at once. And just being a part of that. That's right. awesome. Yeah. The energy. Yeah, yeah it awesome. really, really, really was great. Oh, like that's cool. Experience, yeah. See, I, I don't really follow sports that much, but I will go see a live game any day because yes. of that energy and the people out there and the excitement. It's so much fun. Yeah. I find it boring to watch in front of the TV, but I love a live game. Yeah. Well, we might and have, tailgating. We, we might be able to go to L.A. and watch um, 
football because three teams have actually petitioned to That's go exciting. to LA. Yes. We've Very got the Ra exciting. the Rams, the uh -huh. Raiders, and the Chargers. I believe all yeah. want to go to LA because of John Candelaria. I have to hope for the Rams. Mm -hmm. I said okay. it. That's you my want ball. the Rams to go back to LA. The Rams yeah. to go back to LA. It just right. makes sense, right? Yeah. I still have my Rams hat. I've well, had it for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Tina. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Oh, and next week we're going to give away some money. Yeah. Care Talk's going to be on. Yeah. Care Talk will be on. We're going to give away ten thousand dollars. Boys and Girls Club and Ronald McDonald House of Las Vegas. That's fantastic. Well, we're going to be awarding those uh, comp the, the, the prizes for the competition, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Now it's